Hello, I'm going to take you through a problem that I've had in iMovie and I've only just worked out how to fix it. So I've got iMovie open. These are all my projects here and these ones, I just can't delete them. So if I click on day 30, the way to delete the day 30 project, look, if I open it, it's all in there. If I go back to projects, go down to day 30, if you hover your mouse next to the title, you see the three dots, you click on that and it brings up a little menu for you. And when you go down to delete project, it asks, are you sure you want to delete this project? All media files in this project will be copied into your library in an event named day 30. That's great. So I click continue. And then you get this error message, which is the file name couldn't be moved to the trash because you don't have permission to access it. Now, all of my files I, I've shot myself. These files just happen to be from a dash cam camera in our car. I couldn't work out how to get to the file to delete it so that I could delete the project and free up the memory space. And my iMovie started taking up like 60 uh, gigabytes of just storage that I couldn't budge. I've just worked out how to do it. So if you've had the same problem as me, here's how you clear it. Oh, hello, I'm Neil, by the way. I'm uh, in the garden today. I don't know why it's the hottest day of the year and probably the worst place to be doing this. I couldn't be indoors. Here's how you can find the file that refuses to be deleted so that you can free the project up and delete the project and delete the event and forget the whole thing ever happened. <laughs> if you go to the desktop, click on the Macintosh HD. So we're in Finder and I've got four choices. You go for, this is the way I did it, click on Users and open that up and you'll see among all the folders there, Applications, Desktop, Documents, there's one labelled Movies. If you open that up by clicking on the triangle, you've got the iMovie library and the iMovie theater. Now the problem with this is if you double click on iMovie library, it brings up iMovie. <laughs> we don't want that. So let's go back to the finder. What you want to do is on iMovie library, right click on it. It brings up this menu and we want to go down to show package contents so that it's going to show what's what's there instead of actually opening it up. And look, the folder that I want to delete, or the project I want to delete is called Day 30. So if I find Day 30, there it is, among all the projects that it's remembered. Some of my greatest hits now available on YouTube. And if you click on the triangle of Day 30, it'll bring up some more folders, analysis files, uh, this, the, the name of the project again. But there's also this folder here called Original Media. So if you click on the triangle there, it actually opens up the folder that has all of the copies of the files that you actually want to delete. So iMovie takes its own copy. It can, as you can see from the size of the files there, it can take up a lot of uh, memory. What we want to do now, right click on the file that you can't delete. So I know all my dash cam videos are here. Right click on it and then go down to get info. There it is, it's locked. There's a little checkbox, a little tick next to the word locked. And what we want to do obviously is unlock it. So untick that box and we'll close it. And I'm going to have to now do that for every single one of these files. <laughs> Get info locked. It's a good way to show you how to do this. There we go. So I've gone through all of the files that are likely to have this locked problem. Now, just to show you that it works, if you go back to iMovie, so we're going back to day 30. If I click on the three dots again and then hover over delete project, are you sure you want to delete this project? Yes, continue. It's gone. Yes, we win. The way to now free up the memory, do it the usual way, I'll click on media, and you can see now there's a new folder underneath iMovie library on the left-hand side here, and there's day 30. So I click on that. Now, if I right-click on day 30, I can go down to delete event, are you sure you want to delete the selected events? Continue. 
boom, it's gone. And that has now freed up that uh, memory, those gigabytes for you to use for something else.